I'm Dan O'Day. First, let's listen to the terrible radio commercial, complete with its terrible opening line. Announcing, at last, a brand new medical breakthrough for victims of stroke. Just published from Medical Doctors, this stroke breakthrough is for people who have suffered for years after stroke with little help. This new breakthrough treatment is exclusively available only at the Institute of Neurological Recovery at 100 UCLA Medical Plaza in Los Angeles on the web at strokebreakthrough.com. To schedule your free visit, call 310-824-6199 or go to strokebreakthrough.com. This new breakthrough treatment has helped people long after their stroke. Results can vary, but imagine seeing improvement within minutes. Find out what this can mean for your loved one. This new, rapid, gentle, non-surgical medical treatment is available only at the Institute at 100 UCLA Medical Plaza. Go to strokebreakthrough.com or call 310-824-6199 to schedule your visit at absolutely no cost to you. That's 310-824-6199. Strokebreakthrough.com. That's strokebreakthrough.com. The opening line of your radio commercial is the commercial for the commercial. When your first words are, announcing at last, the audience expects to hear an announcement they long have been waiting to hear. But no listeners have eagerly been awaiting a brand new medical breakthrough for victims of stroke. Certainly, many stroke victims and their loved ones would love to hear about something that can improve the lives of stroke victims something that can mitigate some of the many possible effects of a stroke. But that's what those people want to hear about, the results that at last are available, not a meaningless, unsupported declaration about a breakthrough. According to this advertisement, the results were just published from medical doctors. Is your weasel words alarm going off? In those five words, they managed to alert us twice that they're deliberately not telling us anything. Just published. You know what? If this breakthrough was published in, oh, let's say the New England Journal of Medicine, they would have said just published in the New England Journal of Medicine. If it was published as an advertisement in, oh, let's say the penny saver, then maybe they would forget to mention who published it. And whatever it was that was published, wherever it was published, was by medical doctors. Once again, the alarm bells ring. Does being told that unnamed medical doctors published something somewhere, although we're not told what it actually says, really cause you to trust this advertiser? This new treatment is exclusively available only at, uh, thank you from our Department of Redundancy Department, they tell us it's exclusively available before they tell us what the heck they're talking about. Now here's a hint. Tell us what you're selling before you tell us where we can get it. But to be fair, they never do tell us what the heck they're talking about. They tell us the advertiser's name, address, and web address, and then they invite us to schedule a free visit by calling them on the phone or by going to their website. Why? Should we schedule a free visit? Sorry, they just didn't have time in that 60-second radio advertisement to give us a reason. After all, they had to tell us the advertiser's name, physical address, URL, and phone number a total of 11 times. They also tell us that results can vary. I'm sure they can, but what results are they talking about? Schedule your visit at absolutely no cost to you. Hey, hun, I have no idea why we should visit them, but if we do, it'll be at absolutely no cost to us. Sounds great. What's that number, name, address, and website again? I'm Dan O'Day. DanOday.com Digital Al Alignment Parts Synchro Synchro Synchronize